Hi and welcome. I'm Tom, your host, and this is the Dropcast Movie Poster Podcast. This format is part of the Instagram blog Drop, and you can find us under @dropmakeofficial. We do reviews, news, and interviews that all have to do with the film business. Today, we will talk to the up-and-coming alternative movie poster star Araceli Munoz, who had some major releases in the past and some cool projects that still haven't been printed yet. But nonetheless, her work speaks volumes, and she's very transparent with her work and what she does. And um, I hope that she will be the same with our interview. So stay tuned and head over to our Instagram blog Drop Mac Official and follow along with the art and we are talking about and also check out the YouTube video version of this talk. So now let's get started. So welcome, Marcelli. How are you today? Hey, I'm doing good. Thank you. Um, the way I always start out is that I pick three different pieces of your artwork that I want to talk about. And the first one I picked was uh, since I, I, tr I wanted to do the Avengers one. But the Avengers mm -hmm. one is kind yeah. of a little bit canceled, but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. We can talk about that uh, some other day, maybe. But <laughs> the first one I wanted to talk about is your uh, Detective Pikachu. Um, oh, okay, print. yeah. It has it has the Dolby Cinema on it. Like, what's what's the story behind it? Was it just a Dolby release for uh, the actual movie? Because I didn't see that uh, somewhere uh, hanging, at least not a German. Uh Yeah, that was through Poster Posse. So pretty much they asked me and um, Orlando Mexifunk yeah. um, if we were interested on creating a poster. I forgot. I think he did the IMAX one and I did the Dolby Cinema oh, okay. one. So it it was, um, I didn't get to see it in person, but um, it was just pretty much for if you went to Dolby Cinema and you got to see it. Mm -hmm. I don't think there were any prints of it, okay. but it was just pretty much also like on social media just to kind of like promote the movie before it yeah. came out. Yeah, I mean that's. Uh, I mean it's a great print. But what, what was the idea behind it? I mean, did you just go off the trailer in this case, or? Um, for this one, I watched the trailer. There were certain things that I kind of had to request certain pictures from them, mm -hmm. and then I mean, you know, that's actually me in the center because I. Oh, I mean, okay. That yeah, yeah, that's actually me, and I just grabbed my sister's jacket <laughs> and I just had like a stuffed animal <laughs> on, just wrapped yeah. around my head, and I was just posing so. Kind of had a, it, it was a mix of a bunch of different things. So it, it's definitely one of those posters that just kind of makes me laugh when I look at it because yeah. I just straight up see myself oh there. Oh my God. So, um, Where, yeah. Uh, I wish I, ha I would have that. Could you, could you give me the picture of you standing there with a head wrap? Do you uh, have that? I don't have it. Oh my I don't God. have it anymore. No. Yeah. It's one of I know. <laughs> it's one of those things where you're just so embarrassed you end up deleting it later. Um, maybe they might be in one of because I have another hard drive where I keep a bunch of stuff. So maybe if I go through it, I might get <laughs> lucky and find it. But as far as I remember, I've I got rid of it. <laughs> okay, I see. Yeah. But I mean, it's uh, it's it's a great story, definitely. If if you find it, yeah. I would love to uh, let the yeah, people I'll, see I'll it. Look for it. <laughs> Okay, and um, I also really love in this in in, in this um, in this one that you did the, like the the little the stuff you can see basically from the city that you did it oh, in yeah. a Pikachu's uh, tail shape, and that that's a real cool yeah. thing. Um, how Thank how you. hard was it to do all like the buildings? I mean, it looks like you have had done a lot of spent a lot of time. You you just in vector graphic, right? Okay. Yeah, all in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. It it took forever. Felt like I was working on it. I think um, maybe it was like two weeks, two to three weeks that I worked on it. And the buildings were definitely what took the longest. Mm -hmm. um, during that time, I was working with on um, a Wacom into his pro. Mm -hmm. So, it, I mean, and I was still getting used to the way the pen worked because before then I was pretty much just working you know, on my laptop, mm -hmm. on the trackpad. Okay, <laughs> so that's crazy. It was kind of, uh, yeah, I was just kind of starting to really get used to it. I had used it in the past, but not as much. But um, I think that kind of added to making the buildings a little difficult. But it took a while, but thankfully I got it done. Oh, yeah, same. I would yeah. say so the same, yeah. Um, okay, the next one is uh, mm -hmm. also a very known franchise it's it's the toy story one so the toy story 4 release oh, yeah. and uh this is a really interesting piece i really love the movie and um by, by the way how did you like detective pikachu did you watch it oh yeah i did yeah i thought it was a fun movie i i went and i watched okay. it i think the day 
Yeah, the day it came out. Okay, I wasn't so satisfied with it, but uh, still, it's an okay movie for me. But there was a yeah, lot of was a, a lot movie. of people really liked it. I mean, for example, the 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 Matt Taylor, I think Matt Taylor put out the Pikachu print as well from Mondo. Oh, yeah, like, everybody loved awesome. it. So it's like, yeah, yeah, really interesting art. Uh, but yeah, back to your Toy Story piece. Um, how how did this yeah. happen? Um, so this one again, the majority will the work that you see is all poster yeah. posse work. So they send out a, they send out an email to like a group of us if we were interested in working on it, and I was for sure I said yes. And so it was just pretty much for social media, you know, just yeah. kind of leading up to the release of the movie. So and we kind of had like creative freedom to kind of do whatever we wanted. So I kind of came up with this idea. I sent it mm -hmm. to them, and they approved it. So yeah. Okay, and um, what was your concept idea for it? Like, did, did you have, did you see trailer stuff again and like did that or what did you go off? For this one, they provided us with um, images. Mm -hmm. So there was like uh, different shots of the characters that or posters that weren't even released. Mm -hmm. out, they weren't released yet. And then also just kind of going back to the trailer. And if there's ever like anything that we need specifically, we would just let them know. And um, Rebecca, who, you know, she's, half of the poster posse yeah, yeah. You know? we, we had uh, we had actually posted posse on so i think people who watch yeah, the podcast watching. regularly they, they should they know yeah yeah and so like they'll get the images for us and just send it back if we need anything specifically but it was pretty much just going off of the trailer wow. and yeah Okay, um, I, I I have to say this this one is uh, I really uh, I think this is like the, when when I heard of you the first time with the Toy Story one yeah and uh, I really really like this piece I think do, Thank you. if you've seen the Tom Whalen one uh, which were in the yes. Disney shop and I think they are they are on the same level in my opinion and uh, I wish there was a print uh, for this one and I wish they had a Tom Whalen print in, in, in Europe but only in the US so sadly I couldn't get any of them but uh, maybe in the future <laughs> no yeah his poster is I mean it's awesome a lot of the times people will confuse my work and think that it's his mm -hmm. work but it's because um, we use a lot of the same colors yeah. I'm kind of like, yeah, so especially when, when mine came out later on his, I think it was IMAX that he did it for that exactly. um, it came out and everyone, yeah, everyone was asking me if that one was mine. I was like, no, that one's not mine. Um, but yeah, I, there, there are a lot of similarities between the two. Yeah. And I also really love that you do the, um, I think you haven't done it lately, but like back then you did like a breakdown and you gave out like the tools you used. Yeah. I really, I really yeah. like that because like, I think when this came out, I was like really doing that myself, like doing the poster and stuff. So uh, the, the yeah. one I showed you on the off screen before. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so I, I was like, yeah, oh, okay. This is how, this is this kind of, these kind of tools I should maybe look into more if I want to do more stuff like that. And yeah, so that's, no, that's yeah. what's really interesting and helpful in, in that case. I'm glad because a lot of the time I get a lot of questions on what tools mm -hmm. I use and how do I use them. And then I thought that was kind of like a good approach to showing yeah. like a little insight on how I work. I want to kind of expand on that. Just I've been busy, but I I know in the future I kind of want to do more posts that kind of like break it down, which is why a lot of the um, of the posts you see on my mm -hmm. Instagram is either like showing line work or just just kind of dissecting a piece, you mm -hmm. know. And so I find that really interesting to see in other you know, artists work. So I kind of think I'm like, people, people might like it, you know? Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's a, it's a great choice. That, that's why I always have like, when I do my uh, release episodes, not the interview ones, I always have the art and the mm -hmm. art, artist come on and talk about the piece and how it was, uh, what, what the artist, what did he do? Like how did, how was the concept done and how was, what kind of tools he used to make it? And this yeah. is like the, the cool part. There's actually, uh, while, while we're recording, uh, the Andy Furhurst mm -hmm. podcast is coming out uh, later on. Oh, that's and awesome. Then, and I think it's, like two hours or so but <laughs> maybe we will oh, be okay. off and can check it out but yeah he we talked yeah. about his about his disney series as well he did for bottleneck so oh, that's, yeah. that's kind of cool thing they're always amazing yeah. i i love all things disney and his work is amazing so combining the two i mean that's awesome yeah, exactly um okay and the third one i wanted to talk about is your mm -hmm. latest piece it's the uh, wonder woman 84 piece yeah you and you all you have a giveaway running it, it will be over when the podcast yeah. comes out but um yeah. we will have a winner by then but um yeah. uh, how uh, how did this came about um this one was just i mean i absolutely love the the posters that they came out with and i mean you could see on my instagram that i love 
all things color and mm-hmm. <laughs> just like bright things. And I, I just really love the suit. And so I was just, I mean, the trailers and everything, I just was like, no, I need to make something for this. So I, and I kind of wanted to try out just, um, new approaches to kind of how I work in illustrator. So mm-hmm. I thought this kind of would be a great like exercise in a way to kind of try out the same tools I'm using, but in a different way. So I was pretty happy with the end result. Yeah. Um, how, um, how long did it take you? I mean, it, it, it looks like a tedious <sighs> process. Yeah. Cause when I started it, see, I, I don't remember the exact, I feel like it was three months. Mm-hmm. The reason it took so long was because I was taking breaks in between. Also, I was in school, yeah. so I was working on other projects. So that kind of added to the length of time it took. But um, and, and then also I get caught up in the details. So that didn't help. And so it, approximately three months. Okay, I see. And um, what what is the, because you're giving it away right now, a couple of, how many, how many yeah. did you give away? Um, well, I'm giving away one, okay. the others there for something else. Yeah. I might give away two, I, depending on how things work out, but okay. we'll see. And what are they printed on? What, what do you, do you know? Or, um, so I got them printed from fix on art. It's a print place in orange County okay. and they're, they're called, I think they're like crystal prints. So it's kind of very like shiny reflective type mm-hmm. of um, thicker than cardstock. Okay, for but sure. it's not a, it's not a, a screen print in this regard, right? No, it's a no, G, a G no. clay or do you know or litho? No, it's lithograph. Um, all I know is the way he, it's a very it's only like he kind of created mm-hmm. that, so it's only specifically oh, okay. in his print shop. Yeah, and so he, he it's called like a crystal print. So yeah. Okay, that's interesting. I if, yeah. Do, do yeah. you have them already or the the prints? Uh, printed yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do you have them close by? Because I would love to see them. I do not have them in here. Oh, okay. But um, I could send you some pictures oh, later on. Be... And I'm actually gonna on Instagram. I'm gonna kind of do like, um, just kind of like a short video on my Instagram stories, just kind of oh, okay, showing perfect, that because yeah. it's very reflective. Yeah, that. I'm really interested in, in seeing how the, how this is gonna turn out. And uh, I will. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Since there's a lot of time uh, until the podcast, because the podcast is gonna come out in August. And yeah. uh, I will add some some of the some of the footage okay. also later on. Oh, awesome! Okay, so um, those are the three prints that uh, I wanted to talk about uh, to get mm-hmm. you loosen up, <laughs> because yeah. as I as I just <laughs> mentioned, a- Andy was as a, this was his first podcast he did, like with me, and like uh, this is. And Don was like really oh, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Don Don was like yeah. really excited. He wanted like he wanted uh, to have Andy on all the time. And now he he came on my podcast first, so Don was a little bit uh, mad. But <laughs> yeah, he's like, hey, what's up with that? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that was uh, that was uh, that was fun. Um, but yeah. Uh, so since the warm up is over, I wanted <laughs> to go like in a little chron- chronological order with your. Um, how how you became a poster artist in this regard so how did you start out how, was you, you mentioned already university so um, yeah what what kind of degrees do you have and what what's the bachelor thesis master's thesis um so pretty much i mean i've always been into art ever since i was little i've just been one of those kids that's always drawing and so when it came time in high school to kind of choose a degree well yeah going to college i didn't even know you can really choose art as a career um since I'm also the first one in my family to graduate and go to college like I I was very clueless about this whole um even art world that even existed so during high school that was the first time I ever heard of graphic design because in uh what was it the art institute had came to my art class to just kind of talk Hmm. and that's where I got familiar with it and so I ended up doing graphic design and marketing at Cal State San Bernardino Mm-hmm. And then um, I did that. But then kind of when I was graduating with my bachelor's, I realized I was really into illustration. And I again, I felt a little lost on how to go about it. So um, I tried seeing if I could get a second bachelor's in illustration, but um, the schools around me didn't. Um, they didn't offer that. So that's kind of where I thought, you know, I'm going to do um, my master's in illustration. And I just graduated in June. So that, oh, yeah. that congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. So that's kind of like the the way things kind of came about. And I didn't really even think about posters till maybe like two years ago. 
where I was um, when I was doing my masters. Yeah. Mm. Um, how did you get in touch then with the uh, poster posse in that regard? And is, is did they do their did they do or did you do f posters for them like the the first ones or how did you do that? Um, so I had been I didn't really know much about them. I was actually during my masters my one of my professors always told us like hey you guys got to post your work on instagram you know you got to make yourself visible and so i just started posting on instagram more often mm -hmm. and they kind of they found me and they ended up sending me an email and asking me if i wanted to join and then i had been following them on instagram but i didn't really know much about them mm -hmm. so then when they emailed me um that that's kind of how it came about and then so i joined uh i think I don't remember. I think it was towards the end of 2018, mm -hmm. I think. Okay. But um, yeah, it's just they, they ended up reaching out to me. And that's kind of how everything started. Ah, okay. And did you also do like the the first kind of posters for them? Or was it because you sent me the, the first one in, from 2015? You, you haven't been in the poster posse. And how, how did this go about? How, how did you start with that? What was the idea behind it? I'm, I'm just going to uh, yeah. show, show the poster. It's, yeah. gonna, it's of the Met Hatter. Yeah. So for that one, um, again, I, I think that was, I was during my bachelor's and I remember I saw on Instagram hero complex gallery had like this contest kind of going that you could enter and they would choose some artwork to also like display in the, you know, in the show mm. they were having. Mm. So I just kind of was like, you know what, I'm just going to do it for fun. And I ended up being picked. And that okay, was actually cool. the first time I ever really like I actually saw that I could do something in that world. So that one, that one to me, I mean, it, looking at it now, I see so many mistakes, but it was just kind of <laughs> fun. Yeah, I, I can tear it apart, but there's just so many things about it that um, I remember just playing with it and it just kind of like, it was that introduction to this whole art world pretty much. Mm. And uh, if, you, if you could do it again, what would you like, would you do the same concept or would you do it totally differently? So maybe the same, but the whole like eyebrow hair part where there's so many like um, little patterns and shapes, I yeah. think got too messy and busy. So okay. I would rework that. I'm actually pretty happy with the whole like the face and the I'm obsessed with the colors I chose. I'm actually really happy with that. But um, <laughs> there's I would tweak a few things for sure. Okay. And uh, the second one you uh, gave me to show was a Stranger yeah. Things piece for Netflix. Um, yeah. Was it was it official Netflix work or how was no. how was it? That was for, um, so it was one of my classes during my, the masters. Um, mm -hmm. and that one, I just kind of had fun with it. That was the first poster that I was like, okay, I'm making a poster versus the other one. I was just kind of, I didn't even realize what I was doing. I was just having fun. <laughs> but with this one, I was like, okay, let me try to make a poster. And so I just, um, cause I kept seeing a lot of work, like stranger things work everywhere. So I was like, I want to, you know, just kind of create something fun with it. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and it was also one of the first posters where I started working in Illustrator that way because I hadn't really been – I had illustrated in Illustrator like in the past but not not like I did in this poster. Yeah, okay. And um, is, is – uh, how did, did your did your process basically change like when you started doing this or how, how was that for you? Um, do you mean like the way I was working in Illustrator or? Yeah, in terms of you were probably doing something different and then you kind of started getting into it and like, yeah. did you, did your like approach to art, let's say? Um, I mean, change. I think before I would just kind of think, oh, this will be a cool idea. And I would just go in and, you know, just kind of very quickly mm -hmm. without really taking the time to do like research and stuff like that. And also my process in Illustrator changed a lot because like it scares me to say now, but I wouldn't lock any of my layers. And there was, <laughs> <laughs> there were so many, um, like there were a lot of things on just a single layer. I wouldn't really name them. And so it was kind of, I was just starting. So things were very loose. And so I've definitely tightened up some things, from, <laughs> you know, and yeah, that's just, that's the main thing really the way okay, I, yeah, it, yeah. That, that's good that you start doing that or started yeah. doing that i mean since uh, if if it comes to screen printing the separation yeah. layer separation is going to be a pain in the butt yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay um the third one i wanted to talk about is uh, was already one of our backgrounds and um it is the captain marvel piece that you mm -hmm. 
did well, how how did this happen it was it was a, that was probably with the poster posse right yeah okay so that's the first poster i official poster i ever did okay and that was the first um with the poster posse too and that one again pretty much like the toy story they send out like a group email um to the artists that you know are you interested in working on it and mm. so um that one was fun. I had, I I sent some ideas in this one was the one that got chosen. And then originally she didn't have the shades on. It was like her eyes, they were, you know, they were going to be lit up and stuff like that. But, um, they, they, uh, they pretty much told me like, Oh, try it with the shades and do this. So then that's kind of how that came about. Okay. Um, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Why did you pick uh, her as a pilot character in, in that regard? Um, with the other ideas I sent in, she was like in her suit and stuff and, okay. um, they wanted a variety of posters and this mm-hmm. was one of the ones I sent in. So they were like, okay, try this one. Okay, cool. Sounds very good. Yeah. Okay. Um, next question is going to be in the direction of movie, uh, movies, because like, I, my channel, I do movie reviews. That's actually yeah. the, the, the first English review just came out, uh, of the movie mm-hmm. Becky. I don't know. Have you seen uh, Becky? Uh, no, it was I a video on demand movie with uh, Kevin James as a neo Nazi, which is like crazy. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to have to check it out. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very, I tell you, it's very violent. So if you're not into oh, violence, okay. it's going to be a tough, tough watch, I tell you. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, which, is, uh, which were the last movies that you actually saw? So, when I was like, you know, replying to you on the little question things, it was <laughs> Trolls World Tour. Okay. But since that, I'll, yeah. I'll put that in there. I want to hear something okay, about yeah. that. Okay. <laughs> that one. And then just last night, I just rewatched um, the live action of Beauty and the Beast. Okay. So that those are kind of like the few last movies I've watched. So what what are, what are your thoughts on Trolls World Tour? As, did you watch oh, it by I, yourself or with with like siblings? No, with my sister. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> my, yeah. <laughs> no, I I I love it. I mean, to me, again, I'm obsessed with color and all things like that. Mm. So to me, it was just a fun movie to watch, and I just I really love the um, how you can see certain like textures and certain things that they add in the film. So I, that's always interesting to see. Mm-hmm. So I loved it. It was a good movie. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, Beauty and the Beast, did, did you watch it just for fun or was there yeah. a purpose on like doing a poster or something? <laughs> no, I, I would love to, but um, I mean, I've watched it. I've watched it a couple of times mm-hmm. already and it was just one of those things where I was like, okay, I just need a chill <laughs> and I just <laughs> put that film on. So it was just a fun watch. Okay, perfect. And uh, yeah, what what is what are some movies that uh, will come out soon that you or if the movie let the movies reopen again at some point, hopefully, uh, uh, what hopefully what soon. do you want to watch? Um, so I'm really looking forward to Mulan. Oh, also, yeah. Don't, and then uh, uh-huh. <laughs> don't be mad. I watched it in a press screening already before Corona hit. Oh, it was the so week lucky. before the lockdown here in Germany. <laughs> Oh, you got lucky then. You were uh, see. I I really want to see that one because to me, there's just certain things about it. It just feels so different in a way. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm really looking forward to seeing that one. And then um, there's also Pixar's coming out with um, Soul, mm-hmm. which I think would be fun. And then yeah. obviously Wonder Woman. Yeah, I'm really looking forward for Soul. This is going to be such a great yeah. movie. The, the new teaser or trailer that just came out a couple a couple of weeks back. It looks so amazing. It's, yeah. this is, I hope I hope this movie is, like from the looks of it, it's going to be so good. I hope they're going to nominate yeah. it for Best Picture like they did in Toy Story back, back in 96, yeah. I think it was, or 95. I'm, I'm so excited for that one. Yeah, and Wonder Woman, as you said, yeah, I mean, you did the Wonder Woman yeah. piece and uh, yeah. I just showed up the, the, the original key art for it. And I mean, your piece goes along, right along Thank this you. line. So it's... If, that I wouldn't. I wouldn't wonder that if if they ask you to to make one, and to oh, I would love one. that. <laughs> yeah, I, I hope. Fingers crossed for you. Yeah. Um, I, I I try. Maybe maybe we can uh, we can get like a, maybe a German poster. Maybe Warner Brothers Germany oh. once once in on. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, I, I will talk to sure. them. <laughs> try my best. That would be great. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, does the movies you want to see? But what are your favorite movies or? Yeah. Um, so my favorite is Titanic. Titanic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. That, how how yeah. old are you again? Uh, twenty six. Just turned twenty six. How um, how do you know about Titanic? <laughs> I just it's just one of those things. I remember being little, and then my dad came home with the VCR set, and it was just like 
the, there were two VCRs and you kind of had to watch the first part and then you had to watch the second part. So it's just one of those movies I remember just kind of around the house. Yeah. And then um, it's just you always find it on TV and I just never get sick of it. It's just a fun film. <laughs> yeah, good that you yeah. don't get sick of it. Okay, and yeah. uh, you picked another one as well. Yeah, um, so I, I'm trying to think like, wait, I what mean, was... You, uh, it was you, you, you mentioned Frozen in there. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Frozen 2. Frozen 2, um, though? That's... Did you like Frozen 2? Why? I don't get you it. You didn't like it? The, I mean, it was okay, but I liked the first one way better. Oh, I, I love the second one even more. Why? I just There's just something about <laughs> it. Like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I'm like, I'm obsessed with the music. Okay. I, I just really But the songs in the, the first one were better. Well, no. The, I, Come on. Well, yeah, the first... No, I, I just became so obsessed with the second one. I got to do um, some Frozen 2 posters. Okay. Uh, I didn't include those in there. And so um, it was with the poster posse, and I, I got to go down to the... Um, to the Disney lot in Burbank and mm -hmm. actually listen to the songs before they were released. Wow. So I, that kind of, yeah, that kind of like played into my whole obsession with the songs. Mm -hmm. um, and ever since then, I've just been like everything about that film. And I yeah. also on Disney Plus, you know. Did you, yeah, oh, I just wanted to ask, did, did you watch the Into the Unknown, the documentary? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, I did. And that just even makes me more obsessed with the film, just seeing all that mm -hmm. work that went into it. And it's just... Yeah. Oh, it just blows me away. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, and and you you gave me also Narnia. Yeah, Narnia. I want to hear. I want to hear. Why is that your favorite movie? Because it's just one of those films that I remember when I was young. Like I remember mm. seeing the trailers and the billboards, and it was just there was something about that film that I don't know why. It just I became really obsessed with it. Like I started, you know, collecting the books, and then um, McDonald's had toys, so I was collecting those, and then. <laughs> Um, I got a PlayStation because of that, of the movie to get the PlayStation game. And then, um, oh my God, I don't know. There were just so many things and I would just redraw the wardrobe over yeah. and did, over and over. So did you also watch the, what is it? Is it prop props? Something with props on Disney plus they have a Narnia, oh, yeah. they have a Narnia episode, which was, that was yeah. really cool. I really enjoyed that. That was, that was the first the first one I watched, um, the whole series. And mm. then I don't know if you saw it, but I got to go to, um, There's a museum here near me, and mm -hmm. it's the Disney archives, and they actually yeah. had the mm -hmm. Narnia sword. Oh, okay. the, um, so that was really awesome to see. It was from Prince Caspian, yeah. but still, anything Narnia. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I see, I see. Yeah. And um, did you did you also watch the Muppet one? They they had uh, Drew Struzan on. That was like kind of interesting. It's like a. I did not see that. Go one. go check it out. I'm still kind of. Yeah, I well, mean, I'm still going going through the list. Okay. Of, uh, yeah. as, as a poster artist, I mean, it's probably a good to, yeah. a good way to 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 look at that. Um, For sure. Okay. Uh, so, for your favorite movie, we, we're gonna pick one. How how do you like the regular movie poster? Which which one you want to talk about? Um, let me see. Mm, I think I'll go with uh, Narnia. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just because, yeah. I really do love that poster. And again, I remember when when I was younger. There, um, do you guys have Walmart over there? <laughs> no, we don't. We, do. we don't. But we have no? similar similar things. Oh, okay. Well, I just remember Walmart had this like poster section where they always had movie mm -hmm. posters. And I remember I got the Narnia poster, that one that I, you know, I okay. sent you. And it was just on my wall, and I would just stare at it for hours. It felt. And there's just, I feel like I just really like the way it's broken down and. I just find it really interesting to look at. So I really love that poster. Okay. And uh, would you love to do, or, or did you also uh, do um, a poster version of, or for your own, like, like the, the best fan art that can be? <laughs> for Narnia? Yeah. yeah. Or for Narnia. Or, uh, oh yeah. Or I, I, I want to see your Titanic as well. That would be interesting. Okay. <laughs> there, see, I always want to create um, posters for these movies, but I always somehow get stuck doing something else and then i find it hard to kind of <laughs> okay, get back to it okay. but i've i've been wanting to do one specifically for frozen 2 yeah. just because i haven't i haven't had the time to but that one i really want to try to tackle this year so we'll see okay okay um so speaking of posters uh, what are your three favorite posters that are uh that are out right now is there anything um so Frozen again. I'm just gonna. <laughs> I, frozen I, I, is gonna be in there. This, the, this is a frozen. This is a frozen podcast now. Um, <laughs> yeah, you you you're gonna start I, singing. I'm I'm not gonna sing. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I really love the, see, I loved all of them, but the IMAX poster mm-hmm. to me just seemed very epic. And I just, I mean, I, I just really love the way that one was done. Also, another one of my favorites is um, Baby Driver. Oh my God, that's a, The that's, one that's uh, just, that one, I'm just so obsessed with it. Is, is that a, is that a, a alternative movie poster by, do you know by whom it is? Or is it a, a key, official key art? I think it's an official key art poster that an agency okay, released. Okay. I, I don't know the exact, um, the artist who created it, but I just, to me, that poster, again, it has mm. color. And I just really love how um, they were able to lay certain things down. And yeah. I just find it really fun to look at. I mean, there, there are so many, uh, there are a couple of really good ones. I think Dolly did one which is really cool. Oh, okay, yeah. And, yeah, oh my God. And so there's nice. a couple other ones that are, which are like really cool. I really love those kind of, I think there's this one, I, I don't know if it was Dolly's, but where they where the car does the donut and the donut is in like the, the, the re, like a record. Okay, yes. I, yeah, I've seen so, there's been so many um, Baby Driver mm. posters, especially when I was even trying to get this one just to kind of like send it to you. So many came up, and then once you start yeah. seeing them, you're like, okay, how do I choose just one, you know? <laughs> I know. I know the feeling. Yeah. Okay, and uh, your third one is what? Um, I, th- I think it was Ant-Man and the Wasp, because I was... Okay. Ch- mm-hmm. that, yeah, that one to me was just the whole composition, and then just certain little um, things on it. Yeah. Like, I just... I really love all the white space, and then also the mm-hmm. way... Um, yeah, it reminds me of one, your Pikachu with all the white yeah, space. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and that's just something I, I find really fun, especially like not filling up the entire page. Mm. Because for me, that's something I at least try to, you know, because I always try to fill up the page. I'm like, okay, this is mm-hmm. a good example of how you don't have to fill up every single inch, you know? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Th- it's one of those, yeah. Yeah, when it comes to Ant Man and the Wasp, I really loved, uh, I think it was Matt Ferguson, the Matt Ferguson oh, posters. Okay. They did like an Ant Man version, oh. which was like so, so small, the poster. Oh my god, I, I feel like I've seen it, but I, I I'm not sure. I think, I'm gonna have to look it up. Yeah, I think it's I think it was Matt Ferguson. Also they had on uh since I collect like in the back, you can see like my little yeah. figures. They are from Sideshow Collectibles and they did like a like a smaller, like a like the ant sized version of Ant Man, but like oh, that's totally awesome. correct and you could actually buy Ant Man and the Wasp for a uh, Wasp for ninety nine dollars. So that was kinda oh, that's that awesome. was uh, kinda cool yeah. cool to have. Um Okay, uh, since we talked about poster, did you did, do you collect uh, yourself? I mean, I see a lot of stuff in the back, and uh, I was wondering what did what did you collect? What was the last piece in your collection? So, I mean, a lo- that's my sister's side. Oh, room. okay. This one's mine, and I'm on my other sister's side of the room because we share. We each have our own little corner. Okay. Um, but we kind of we kind of take turns, kind of putting things on each other's walls, and then right now I. There's been a few posters that I've gotten, but I I kind of alternate between taking some down and yeah, yeah. Um, I'm still I, I in the know. process of, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you, you know the feeling. Um, I'm kind of in the process of just kind of like redecorating and just kind of like mm. fixing some things. But um, the last one, I think, I, I don't remember which one was the last one I probably got. I'm trying to think. Probably was the Snow White one. I think it was the Snow White one. Which one is the Snow White um, one? Uh, it's somewhere there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. oh yeah, I know. I had that uh, from from George Kaltsudas, yeah. I think. Yeah, and then I've got his Wonder Woman print over there. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, yeah, so, um, but the two I sent you were some of the ones that I'm kind of, the ones that I'm kind of thinking of putting up after I kind of redecorate and stuff yeah, yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, so those okay, those are some of those. Those are the ones. Which ones? Uh, the the Spider Verse. Spider Verse. By yeah. by whom is that? Uh, one of them. Uh, I I know he goes. I think his initials are R A D, so okay. Brad. Yeah. And then the other one, I think it was um, Matt Ferguson and and Flory. Um, yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that piece is great, especially with the J's on on <laughs> on Miles mm. Morales. Yeah. But uh, uh, can you tell me a little bit more about the uh, red one? Because I think that's really cool, and I've I haven't seen yeah. that one before. I've tried looking for his name. I, I think I tried going to his Instagram page, and his name didn't pop up. And so I'm tr- I'm still trying to find it. Okay. Because I went on his website, and it just goes. Um, I just kept seeing Rod over and over, mm-hmm. but that's something I'm kind of looking into just so I can see more prints by him. Cause I, I really love that spider verse mm-hmm. one. Okay. 
Um, what does your uh, office or you? I mean, we can see a little bit of your office there. Yeah. Uh, or or the place where you work is maybe yeah. not, not an office, but the place where you work, your desk. And uh, um, what what uh, how do how what else does it look like? I mean, how do you, how do you work? Is it what what's behind you there? Is is that your uh, is that the, the Mac you're working on or your sister's? Uh, this one's mine. That's um, the iMac, and then I have the Wacom Cintiq oh, okay. over there. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, yeah. And so that's kind of what I work on. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I see. And uh, you gave me the bookshelf. Uh, yeah. What can you tell me about that? Um, so that's the bookshelf right there. And um, <laughs> yeah. the reason I sent you that was just because that's, that's part of the reason I actually want to reorganize everything because I'm starting to get so many books that they're just not even fitting on there. There's oh, okay. some on the floor and some I have stored somewhere else. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to like organize it. And then, yeah, because I just love the art of books and especially when it comes to kind of creating a poster. Mm. That's kind of where I first look for inspiration if it's Disney. And um, it, I just kind of find it even more like interesting to look through the books versus just going to Pinterest. Mm -hmm. So I, I kind of like to have like a collection of books that I can just go back to. Okay. Um, speaking of uh, working, what what are you working on right now? Is there anything you can talk about? Because I know how it all is with the NDAs and so on. But uh... So there's like, so right now I'm working on a Mulan piece, a Mulan piece, but I haven't finished it. It's just kind of been sitting there. Okay. I started it. There's a few things that I need to kind of go back in and fix. Um, there's also some personal projects. Okay, Other yeah, stuff I'm, I can't I'm gonna really... show. I'm going to show the, yeah. the little work in progress thing of yeah. uh, Mulan. And yeah, uh, yeah I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited on Mulan because I, 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 have, I have to tell you, I, I can't say anything more than it was a good movie. I really okay. enjoyed the movie. Okay. That makes me happy then. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I can't wait to finally make my review. I probably have to see it again because like it's been, I think oh, when yeah, it comes it's out, it's been four months since I've seen it. Oh my so. God. No, yeah, you're going to have to refresh your memory, you know? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, on, on your other projects, you wanted to come to another project of yours. Um, also, just a personal project. Such as, I already said Frozen 2 is the one I'm trying to mm. really finish because I, I was going to do something last year, but I just didn't get to it. And so I want to try to find some times. There's some other things I'm working on that I can't really say. Um, but mm. just trying to find some time in between and kind of get some projects in that I've been trying to do for feels like years now. Mm. But um, yeah. Okay. Um, and what is your what is your approach to a, a general to a project? I mean, we heard a little bit about it and just uh, you gave us a little glimpse of, of it. But uh, how do you approach a new project? Um, so for me, the first thing I do is I watch um, every trailer that's out there available. And I always kind of keep a, my sketchbook next to me and just make a list of notes. I find it really mm. important to do that just because it kind of helps me kind of break down exactly what I want to show in the poster. And then, I mean, from there it goes to, you know, sketching out, picking some thumbnails. And then um, from there I'll just go and I'll just kind of refine some things. And then it, Then it's choosing the colors, which to me, I always have to kind of have an idea of what colors I'm going to be using or else makes it really difficult for me to even move past anything else. So once I've kind of got that down, it's just kind of having fun and creating the poster and illustrator. Mm -hmm. and, and, it, and it's very much like that for every poster. Would it, would it di differ uh, in the perspective if you would do like an older um, franchise or an older movie? Where you can basically, where you have more than the trailer. Um, it would, yeah, for sure. I mean, I honestly just look at whatever's out there, whatever's available. I look at um, what other artists have done and just kind of how I can make mine stand out and not, you know. Um, but it's pretty much the same process. At first, I love to gather everything and just kind of make some notes. And um, then from there, it just, it goes on the same pretty much. Mm. Uh, do you have a certain plan on how long you want to spend on a project or is there something like oh, a week is perfect for me or something like that? So um, for me, see, the whole like researching side of things takes forever because I could look into things honestly like ongoing forever. But to me, it's just I try to give myself maybe two to three days or a week to just kind of like take everything in. And then from there, the actual poster, depending if I have a deadline or not, um, if I don't, I preferably like to kind of work on it for a month 
just so I can make sure everything is the way I kind of envisioned it. But it just, yeah, pretty much around that time. Okay. And uh, do you do you want to do license print? Is that a thing you want to do? Because there's a couple of artists who just want to do key art or just want to do digital art in that case. Do you want to do license prints in that case? Oh, I would love to. Honestly, I'm just, I'm open to anything really. And I think that would be really fun. It, the opportunity hasn't presented itself yet, but I would definitely, in the future, I would love to do that. Yeah, I mean, if Tom Whalen gets prints, I think, why shouldn't you get prints? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and do, do you have an idea how how do you want your prints to come out? Do you, do you, do you know about that stuff or is that... Um, very little, just because I haven't really looked into it. I mean, I've seen screen printed posters, which I think are amazing. And I've almost been kind of training myself to work that way in Illustrator. Mm -hmm. And the way I'm starting to kind of put together posters has kind of been almost the way screen printed posters are, you know, the way mm -hmm. they're printed. So that I think that would be really cool. But um, I know there's just so many varieties of printing and so many ways, you know, you can go about it. So, yeah. yeah. And I think because uh, I had like uh, with Joshua Budik, which will I think oh. the, the podcast will come out before, I think a week before yours. And okay. um He he uh, also talked about the um, this this kind of uh, process because he I think we we talked over two hours and I think uh, like forty oh five minutes of that podcast was just on screen printing I I have a feeling oh my I, god <laughs> I haven't edited it yet but <laughs> it's it's there's been a lot of talk about screen printing because he does this in a certain way and I had before I had the Top Gun here I had um, his triptych of um or his like his series of the Mandal uh, mandalorian like where oh, okay. there are the three characters were in there and uh he did it in a like a five color or five different color print and in a certain way that you can mix almost every color oh, if co you're in the same kind of color family and i think since you do a lot of color research i think that would work very yeah. well in, in that regard on, on the yeah. even on a screen printed poster yeah because that's kind of where i've been kind of training myself or if mm -hmm. it ever does come to that, I can kind of already have an idea and kind of know how to work like yeah. that. So, yeah. So, and yeah, and by, by the way, um, a little job uh, info. If you can do the separations and if you're really, like if you know how to do that for <laughs> other artists, you definitely have a good job waiting because a lot of artists don't know Thank about you. this stuff. So if you if you know that, <laughs> uh, you, you have a job. Because like, for example, Thank you. for example, I talked to... Um, Uh, who did I talk to? To Matt Griffin. He did oh, okay. this Dune piece for Bottleneck. Uh, I had him on, on, a, on a release episode as well. And we talked about it. And he said, because uh, he doesn't know how the separation works. And he's, oh, okay. he thought it's going to be such a pain, his, his print. And then um, he basically asked Matt Ferguson, who's like the master, the, the, the Jedi separation master. <laughs> and uh, he basically just looked at it and said, yeah, yeah, okay, I'll get it done. And uh, <laughs> but it's like I don't know he uh, the, uh, like Matt Griffin he was like cause he's a he's a great artist and but he has no idea about no idea. separation so if you know that you you uh, you're well off <laughs> I've um I've been starting to kind of look into it and my sister she knows um, okay. the whole screen printing thing oh, so cool. kind of yeah so she's kind of also the one that kind of guides yeah. me through certain things so yeah family business right there yeah exactly. <laughs> Okay, so so it's gonna be a, a, a Munoz household production, and in, in the future, yeah, you much you do the art, <laughs> she does the screen printing. <laughs> it's gonna be this whole thing, yeah. Okay, what what does your sister do? She does the same, or? Um, yeah, she's an illustrator. I have two sisters, so both of them do art. One of them's um, primarily graphic design, and the other ones, she's just um, she's studio art, and she's also mm -hmm. kind of starting her own like uh, illustration pieces and certain stuff like that. But, uh, so we're all, all very artsy. Also yeah. into the movie poster direction or what, what kind of no. illustration does she do? So hers is very much focused on um, like Hispanic culture and background okay, and that cool. kind of things. Yeah. So each of us definitely have our own style. I'm the like movie poster <laughs> like geek yeah. in the household. So, yeah. So um, each of us have our own little thing. Yeah. Speaking of culture, I mean, why is there no Coco piece of you? Or from you. Right? I know. <laughs> and that, that's one of the ones, again, I don't know if you could see, but I have the Alebrijes. I don't know, where is it? Like, right there, the little yeah. Coco characters. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, um, okay. Yeah, and so, like, 
again, I have the art up book and it's just one of those things where I've been wanting to tackle it, but time always gets the okay. best of me. But I mean, so, you graduated now, maybe there will yeah, be some free time. Exactly. You know, That's, I'm looking forward to that. For example, when I, when I always talk to Eileen, she always tries to get like, uh, every other week she gets to like have a day and make a poster for herself. Oh yeah. I, I love her work. I mean, I don't know how she does it, but she's so amazing at what she does. And yeah. I'm always in awe by the poster she does. And I'm like, okay, Arcella, you need to pick it up. You need to like, <laughs> come on. And I, I've told myself like, I need to kind of learn to work a little faster. because I get so caught up in the details. Mm. And I mean, then that's why I, I feel like I only make one poster every two months or every three months. So I'm like, okay, I need to pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, What was your most challenging idea so far in terms of to create it, not not time wise? <laughs> um, so like execution and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me see. I'm trying to think. It's kind of that thing where you're like, okay, what posters have I created? Um, <laughs> I think. I mean. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! I'm just going to say the Wonder Woman one just recently, simply because I mm -hmm. was trying like a new approach. To kind of how okay. I was working in Illustrator. So it wasn't necessarily what I created. It was how I created it. Mm. Because I was using the same tools I was using before. But I was kind of trying to find ways to kind of um, just do something different with them. Mm. And so I think that was the reason it was so challenging. Because I was forcing myself not to really work the same way I had been working. Yeah. So um, in the future, in future projects, it would kind of save me time. Okay. And so that I think that's the reason that one's been the most challenging. I understand. Um, okay, so what IP or idea do you want to work on? Is there anything um, that that you really want to tackle? Maybe something different than movie posters. Maybe an old or new franchise, music, sports, whatever. Um, so I love movies. I want to try something outside of movies. And to mm -hmm. me, I um, I think it would be even fun to do like a children's book or something oh, yeah. within that world. I think could be really fun or. Um, I, I would love to do something for DreamWorks just because I haven't had the chance to. Mm -hmm. um, maybe trolls related, just saying. <laughs> But, um, Call me. Something, yeah, right? <laughs> um, something like that or uh, what else? Just something for an amusement park like Disney Imagineering or just, you oh, know, yeah. just something like that could be fun. Or uh, And then also music. I've been wanting to create like, Uh, music posters for latin artists but i just again haven't had time mm -hmm. so who, i'm trying to find who, who would it yeah. be who would it be which one you want to do oh so i've been um i was thinking like jay balvin or uh who else is there um there's a song i think it's called what is it oh there's also rosalia so there's just like a bunch of okay. like different artists like that that i've been thinking of doing certain posters for but again you're gonna hear me say this time and time but how you this said is a I chance. graduated they're, so. gonna, they're gonna yeah. call they're gonna call now oh i hope <laughs> i really hope so yeah i'm like i'm trying to also do some things outside of movie posters yeah. and just kind of like you know have fun with it mm. do you do you do sports as well uh no i haven't no. okay which but it, i think it would be really cool okay do, do, but do you do sports as as like you as a person as a, no <laughs> okay just okay. sitting in front of my desk all day it's a, it's it's totally yeah. fine I'm, I'm, i mean that's i used <laughs> to play basketball a lot but it's like got out of hand because yeah i went to went to went to went to school and taught like the students and then i came home oh, okay. worked on the podcast and yeah uh, and that's that that's just what takes happens. so much time yeah so yeah i know the feeling <laughs> okay <laughs> uh now let's come to my favorite question in terms of i always like to ask because there's so many cool answers um from the artist uh it is which classical artist would you like to see make a film poster in terms of For example, an artist who doesn't even work in a film poster business. So I thought first this question was amazing. <laughs> I hadn't even thought about anything like this before. But um, thank you. <laughs> I was yeah, I was looking through like certain artists, and then I was just kind of thinking, okay, which one I I felt like I kind of related to the most, and one of the ones that I just saw was Picasso, mm -hmm. just because especially like. Um, Just some of the portraits he has are very like colorful and kind of abstract. And then I just love the way he breaks down a face. Mm -hmm. And if you kind of think back to the way I did the Mad Hatter. Yeah. Um, yeah it's yeah. not the same, but it's kind of that thing where you kind of take a face and you kind of deconstruct mm -hmm. it. Yeah, I so see I what you're saying. Saw, yeah. And so it. I thought that was kind of fun. And as far as which like film, don't have a specific one, but I'll 
I mean, anything Disney related, I'm all up for seeing. Frozen so, 2, made by Picasso. Right. <laughs> oh, what would make you say that? Yeah, of course, Frozen 2, for sure, would be amazing. Or I, I wonder how the lion would look like from Narnia, Aslan. Oh, that would look so amazing. That would look, but I would love to see that for okay, sure. Okay, so now here's an idea. Okay. If you have free time, go make the Narnia poster in the Mad Hatter style. Oh my God, okay. Okay, I'll definitely, I'll write that on my list of things okay, to do for I'll, sure. If, if it's going to sell out, I'm going to take 10%. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you for answering this question. It's a great, great yeah. answer. I really, really like it. Um, now we're almost almost done with the questions here. That, that, that was fast. <laughs> yeah, Because, right? you know, I, I've been I've been uh, used to like that, like uh, Drew, uh, uh, Drew uh, did uh, the Sister Hyde, like, was two hours oh, okay. joshua was two hours dolly was almost two hours and it's like yeah it's like the, the people talk a lot and uh yeah but i think i, I like it that we're kind of this like fast and quick dynamic just keeping it quick <laughs> yep yep it's okay it's, it's not like we don't have anything to talk about we have to say no, that yeah. too so <laughs> yeah okay trust me if i could talk i would talk for hours but i'm like no gotta answer the question just come on it's yeah. okay i mean that I mean, it's it's your platform. If you want to talk, talk. No, That's, I, I want to take thank that you. away from you. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, okay. Uh, do you have any tips for beginners in terms of hardware, software, utensils that you'd use or in or in the social media direction? Um, so, I mean, for me, I, I was using when I first started, it was a MacBook Pro and it was a 15 inch and I was working, I was doing a lot of the work on there. Um, the... To me, anyways, I've just been used to Apple products. That's kind of um, the classes I took. It was required you had Apple products or else they wouldn't let you take it. But I'm not. Um, That's crazy. I mean, I think there's, yeah, there. I think there's honestly so many other um, great products out there too. Apple's just the one that I feel the most comfortable with mm -hmm. because, um, as I said, it was required in my class. Uh, also, and I've, I've used it, a Wacom. Mm -hmm. Quick, quick question: Is there yeah. a reason why you had to have an Apple pro uh, product? I mean, uh, not sure. Basically, oh, I could I could run on a laptop. I could run the same programs. Yeah, um, for me, I I don't know. It was during my bachelor's, and it was when I was getting into the entry level graphic design classes. Mm. Um, and they, if you didn't have one, they they suggested you would have to go rent one at the library. Okay. But I it. it I think the reason behind it was just because it was kind of like industry standard, yeah, but I don't, okay. I think, I mean, honestly, if you can run the programs on it, I don't see why it would have to exactly, be. Exactly. Yeah. Apple. Yeah. So, um, that was just the way it kind of just happened for me. And so I've been comfortable with just Apple products ever since, but yeah, there's mm. still so much out there that you could use instead of an Apple, you know, computer or laptop. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've started using the Wacom, um, mm -hmm. Cintiq since last year before then uh, i had the intuist pro mm. that one's just been again just i felt the most comfortable in using that one but again there's still there's so much out there that it's hard to say you have to use this one because everyone can kind of like you know you work with what you have and you, it doesn't really matter what you're using because mm. they're not going to do the work for you you're the one that's going to have to yeah. do it so it just depends on what you feel more comfortable mm. um and then I always say that you should definitely be posting your work on social media yeah. because for me at first I wasn't really doing that and I'm so glad that I did because that's kind of mm. how my work started being seen and especially because I was going from graphic design to illustration I was like if I wouldn't have done that I don't it's kind of weird to me to think how I would have gotten to where I'm at right now so I always say just post even if it's a work in progress or just a sketch even if it's messy whatever it is People love to see that. So mm -hmm. just, I mean, yeah, just post all your work and then don't be discouraged because it's it's really easy to feel like your work sucks because you see so many amazing artwork out there. And so like for me, that's something I'm always reminding myself because um, sometimes you just got to focus on yourself and not everyone else mm -hmm. and just kind of focus on whatever it is you have to say through your work and then just kind of do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quick, uh, quick question though. Um, yeah. How how are your uh, do you, do your classmates know that you, for example, like work for Disney and stuff like that? How how do they how do you oh, think about um, that? Or your professors? Uh, yeah, they they kind of found out because we have like a grad <laughs> critique thing where oh, we have okay. we had to meet like every um, 
every, once every three months or something. Mm -hmm. um, and it's all the graduate students. So that's kind of where they found out. And then, I mean, also, um, I did my master's at Cal State Fullerton. Mm -hmm. And I mean, I'm working with people who right now are like, they've gone to Disney or they've gone to DreamWorks. So they've kind of got their own thing going. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of like, you know, you'll be sitting in class and someone will hear you did something. So it's kind of like the word travels, you know? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So they they pretty much knew, but they were also really well off doing their own thing for sure. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. Um. So I have some social media question. There there was yeah. a couple of questions from uh, Alexander Rosalinas, and okay. he was asking, um, how did you get your artwork out there to get noticed? Any special hashtags? Um. So at first, when I started, I wasn't really, I didn't really understand the whole hashtag game. I was just <laughs> throwing work out there. Yeah. And then, um, it wasn't till later on that I just started kind of noticing artists, um, tagging, well, you know, certain hashtags that they were putting in their posts. Mm -hmm. And I started kind of like looking into that, and I just kind of rounded up some hashtags where I felt my work fit in, and that's just kind of how I felt. I got, I was becoming a little more visible but in the beginning it was just posting just posting my yeah. work okay and um how were you able to get the attention of disney and other studios i mean that's uh, basically i think we answered that via poster yeah. posse but uh yeah okay okay uh, yeah <laughs> do you want to say something that? yeah oh no <laughs> no yeah it was just pretty much the poster posse okay i see <laughs> okay yeah. and his last question is where did you learn your type of style of illustration i think maybe the, maybe inspiration would be here The question? Um, so pretty much, I mean, again, because I did graphic design, the program I, I felt most comfortable in was Adobe Illustrator. So in classes when we had projects, we were just supposed to be, um, whatever it was, I would just kind of add an illustration. And uh, the kind of the artist I was looking at was very much like visual development artists at Disney. And I was really focusing on the colors they were using, mm -hmm. where I feel is kind of where I got... Um, my choice of color was just kind of because I mean, visual development artists are really good about finding what colors they're going to use and what lighting. Yeah. And so that's kind of where I got a lot of my um, color inspiration from. And then, I mean, moving forward, it was just kind of like playing with certain shapes and seeing what best shape fit the like a certain face or it was just kind of like trial and error pretty much. Okay. Okay, thank you, uh, Alexander Rosalinas, for those questions. And I thank you for answering them, Araceli. So the last one is not a question, but it is the chance for you to uh, give some shout outs. So you can shout out your sisters, parents, artists, whatever you want. The stage is yours. And uh, in the end, tell us where people can find you. Okay, so I mean, poster posse artists, I mean, I love all of them. I, they're a great inspiration. It's hard for me to just point out one artist because hey, uh, every artist has, I, I, yeah. I give you a little hint. Uh, so some of the artists who also post a posse artist said, hey, check out my stream. And uh, I post uh, artists I really like uh, in there. And, uh, so okay. so they not yeah, forget yeah. anybody here. Uh, <laughs> no, yeah, I mean, it's because there's, there's so many yeah, of them, you know, and is. it's just hard to just choose one. So, I mean, honestly, any poster posse artist. And then I'm really, really inspired by um, just, again, visual development artists. So Brittany Lee, mm -hmm. uh, who's a Disney visual development artist, and like Laura Lay and her sister, Nasa, are some of like the ones that I'm looking at right now. So that, that, there's my little shout out. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, honestly, just go on my Instagram and look at who I'm following and anyone from that list. <laughs> very good yeah except yeah. me I, 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 don't, I don't do artwork ah. <laughs> <laughs> but okay uh, yeah and where can people find you uh, like all the um, spots let so us know the best one's Instagram I have a Twitter and Facebook but Facebook's just pretty much to kind of keep in contact with poster posse artists and then Twitter I'm not really good with Twitter so it's just <laughs> I would I have my website which is it's araceli.com but it's being updated so there's nothing there. Mm -hmm. um, I would say Instagram is probably the best place. Okay, um, so yeah. check that out. Uh, what, what's the handle again? Um, for Instagram, I think it's Araceli Munoz underscore. Okay, perfect. So yeah. 
yeah. uh, check that out. I will I will definitely link that, of course. But for the people who maybe just listen so they know where to oh, find yeah. you. And uh, yeah, thank you for stopping by, Araceli. And uh, thanks thank to... Thank you for asking me. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah. Uh, thanks to all the listeners and viewers out there. Tune in to our next episode. And don't forget to subscribe or follow this podcast and our IG page. So you all up to date on the latest releases. And also leave us some comments, shoutouts, or topics, questions for our next show. We are up for anything. Okay, guys. That's it. Bye-bye.